Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are studying Al-Birah or At-Tawbah, which is the ninth sermon of the Quran, which the main topic is the result of struggle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And then, God, you have studied already in the previous two lectures <coughs> that what become. Action against unfaithful polytheists in Arab Peninsula. This happened. Then God explained the punishment to the people of the Book of Arab. So, with based on that, the companions give action to the Roman and Persian empires. And second lecture we discussed especially about the hypo crisis. what was their attitude about that and also for the new muslims what weaknesses they must improve because they were new muslims so god explained to them as well that what they should avoid so we have discussed in the 69 sermons we have studied in the previous two lectures so today we are going to start the 70th sentence we will discuss that so <clears throat> now we'll see god has explained the declaration of punishment to hypocrites or improving their attitude now this was the main topic so god has explained the historical evidence alam yatihim نبا الذين من قبلهم قوم نوح وعاد وثمود وقوم ابراهيم واصحاب مدين والمتفقات اتنهم رسلهم بالبينات اتتهم رسلهم بالبينات فما كان الله ليظلمهم ولكن كانوا انفسهم يظلمون has not the news of those before them reached them the nation of nu ad thamud the nation of ibrahim the nation of madian and the in inhabitants of settlement that were overturned their prophets explain very table evidence to them therefore it was not that god was unjust to them in fact they were continued to the unjust to themselves persons so if you study especially the sermons of makkah a lot of evidence is available here god has explained the nation of prophet nuh alaihissalam so you can see that right now it is the evidence available this is the especially it it was the boating of prophet nuh alaihissalam it exist similarly in the historical evidence is available for the nation of prophet ibrahim alaihi salam who helped at uh, at iraq then god has explained of madian madian was near tabuk in saudi arabia and samud is also available which is the name of madain saleh and you can see that their houses are exist available and for madian as well or also available there so god has explained them the evidence that see in the history god has done through his prophets he give action so that an ev- evidence that for every person such will happen with the hereafter so you should now improve your personality god further explain wal mu'minuna wal mu'minatu 
بعضهم اولياء بعض يامرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر ويقيمون الصلاه ويؤتون الزكاه ويطيعون الله ورسوله اولئك سيرحمهم الله ان الله عزيز حكيم وعد الله المؤمنين والمؤمنات جنات تجري من تحتها الانهار خالدين فيها ومساكن طيبه في جنات عدن ورضوان ورضوان من الله اكبر ذلك هم هو الفوز العظيم so god has explained that what will be the benefit of sincere faithful persons so it was also explained to hypocrites who had some sort of hypocrisy so they would be able to understand that how they should improve their personality so you can see the translation the believers both men and women they also are friends to one another contrary to these hypocrisy hypocrites they motivate others persons to do ethics and forbid forbid whatever is unethical activities they are the diligent in the prayer pay zakat and obey allah and his prophet these are the persons whom allah will very soon bless with his mercy there is no doubt that allah is powerful and very wise allah has promised these believing men and women or orchards below which rivers would flow they shall live in them forever and promise pure living in eternal orchards the pleasure of allah is the greatest benefit for them this alone is supreme success so this was the main objective of quran that look you should focus on the hereafter which is the unlimited life and this benefit is a promise to you to help and also god has explained that these things you should follow and you will enter into the paradise what you need just to believe obey with allah and his prophet become diligent to pay zakat and also prayer you should conduct and any all the ethical activities you should do and you should avoid unethical activities that's it this is the your existing life is just as an as an exam as a test and the result will be happen in the hereafter so here the main objective of the quran is this one so now god explained about the hypocrites what punishment or also given them the option to still they had the option to improve their situation ya yuhan nabiyyu jahidil kuffara wal munafiqina wa'luz wa'luz alayhim wa ma'wahum jahannam wa bi'sal masir يحلفون بالله ما قالوا ولقد قالوا كلمة الكفر وكفروا بعد اسلامهم وحموا بما لم ينالوا وما نقموا الا ان اغناهم الله ورسوله من فضله فان فان يتوبوا يكو خيرا لهم وان يتولوا يعذبهم الله عذابا اليما في الدنيا والاخره وما لهم في الارض من ولي ولا نصير ومنهم من عاهد الله لئن اعطانا من فضله لنصدقن ولا نكونن من الصالحين او بروفيت ويج وار اجينست اول ذيس ديس بيليفرز اند هايپوكرايتس اند بي هارش ويز ذيم the hell is their destination which is a very evil abode 
they swear oaths by god that they did not talk that statement oppositely they have definitely talked that statement of disbelief in this manner are guilty of renouncing faith after embracing it and they wanted what they have not been able to obtain this enmity of theirs is nothing but the consequence of allah and his prophet by their grace rewarding them with financial fund therefore even if they now repent it is better for them and if they show in indifference god will punish them in the painful way in this life also and the next as well in the hereafter they will not have any supporters or helpers in the land there are those among them too who promised god if we he blesses us with his bounty we shall surely spent in charity and we shall be among those who do virtuous deeds in abundance so here god has given that any person who had a sort of some hypocrisy he or she can get rid of it now and the option is still available otherwise your punishment will happen in the hereafter is confirmed and in existing life as well there sort of some tortures will happen to them as well and in reality you will find that this happen as well in this life and the hereafter at the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the names of hypocrites they become separate as a result of that and some of them they become sincere and some of them did not and they did terrorism but the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and, and his companions take action against them which become a punishment in existing life and then in the hereafter their painful punishment will be available for them then god further explain falamma atahum min fadlihi bakhilu bihi wa tawallaw wa hum muridun fa aqabahum nifaqan fi qulubihim ila yawmi 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 yalqawnahu bima bima akhlafu allah ma wa'ada wa'aduhu وبما كانوا يكذبون الم يعلموا ان الله يعلم سرهم ونجواهم وان الله علام الغيوب الذين يلمزون المطوعين من المؤمنين في الصدقات والذين لا يجدون الا جهدهم فيسخرون منهم sakhir allah minhum walahum azabun alim but when allah gave them out of his grace they started to show stinginess in it and turned their faces like away and therefore as a consequence god rooted hypocrisy in their hearts until the day when they will meet him because they went back to their promise with allah but they still continue to lie don't they know that allah is aware of their secrets whisperings although allah knows very well everything that is hidden those hypocrites who slander the rich muslims who pay charity in in whole 
heartedly. Some are those sincere persons who spend charity which they earn from their hard labor, but hypocrites joke of them. God makes fun of these hypocrites who make fun, which is a painful torment for them. Here you will see the attitude, especially on the financial matters. So it becomes the evidence that what type of hypocrisy is available for us. So please don't conduct assessment for other persons, but I should conduct this assessment for myself. So please conduct for yourself that whether such similar attitude of hypocrisy is there or not. And God also explained the positive example of some companions who are very faithful and sincere persons that for they pay charity even though with some through their hard labor on a daily basis even that even they pay the charity to help especially for this charity was paid to the poor persons especially to finish slavery, to get rid of slavery and rich companions Radhyalanu paid huge fund and poor companions also paid the minor whatever based on their income they paid. So this becomes as an evidence that which person is sincere and which is hypocrite. This becomes the evidence. So God further explained Astaghfir lahum او لا تستغفر لهم ان تستغفر لهم سبعين مرة فلن يغفر الله لهم ذلك بأنهم كفروا بالله ورسوله والله لا يهدل قوم الفاسقين فرح المخلفون بمقعدهم خلاف رسول الله وقرهوا أن يجاهدوا بأموالهم وأنفسهم في سبيل الله وقالوا لا تنفروا بالحر قل نار جهنم أشد حرا لو كانوا يفقهون فليضحكوا قليلا قليلا وليبكوا كثيرا جزاء بما كانوا يكسبوا whether you ask forgiveness for them or not even if you ask 70 times for their forgiveness, God is not going to forgive them because they have disbelieved in Allah and His Prophet and God does not guide such unreliable persons who preach promises. In this journey to Tabuk, those who had been left behind were very happy to get rid from God and His Prophet. They did not like that they wage war for the cause of God with their persons and wealth. They told persons, don't go out in this heat. O Prophet, inform them the fire of the hell is far hot. Would that they understood? Now they should joke less, but they must take tears because of what they have been doing. So you can see that God has all this is explained about the hypocrisy because every person who is not 100% hypocrite, but he has just a 50% hypocrisy or 30% hypocrisy, they would be able to understand it, what is hypocrisy and how they can improve. So we should also conduct our assessment to get rid of any sort of even 1% sincerity.
slavery, we must get rid of it. So, see the, especially I shared in the previous lecture, this was the journey of the book from Medina to the book. It was at heart whether when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam go for 720 kilometers because at that time it was a warning from Roman Empire they were planning but when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam entered into the book location so the Roman Empire they their military did not go to conduct war so they wanted to avoid it because especially the king of Roman Empire, he had already studied in Torah and Gospels that what will happen with the prophethood. So that's why he did not take any action. But after the life of Prophet ﷺ finished, so then with the companions, they conducted war. But at the time of Prophet ﷺ, they did not conduct such war. God further explained, فَإِن رَجَعَكَ اللَّهُ إِلَىٰ طَائِفَةٍ مِّنْهُمْ فَاسْتَأْذَنُوكَ بِالْخُرُوجِ فَقُلْ لَنْ تَخْرُجُوا مَعِيَا رَبْ أَبَدًا أَبَدًا وَلَنْ تُقَاتِلُوا مَعِيَا عَدُوًّا إِنَّكُمْ رَضِيتُمْ بِالْ قُعُودِ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ فَقْعُدُوا مَعَ الْخَالِفِينَ وَلَا تُسَلِّ عَلَىٰ أَحْدٍ مِّنْهُمْ مَا تَأَبَدًا أَبَدًا وَلَا تَقُمْ عَلَىٰ قَبْرِهِ إِنَّهُمْ كَفَرُ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَمَاتُ وَهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ وَلَا تُعْجِبْكَ أَمْوَالُهُمْ وَأَوْلَادُهُمْ إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُعَذِّبَهُمْ بِهَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَتَذْهَقَ أَنفُسُهُمْ وَهُمْ كَافِرُونَ O oh Prophet, if Allah takes you back to any of their groups and they seek permission from you to go out to war, then clearly inform them, you shall never go out with me nor shall you fight alongside me with any enemy. You prefer to sit earlier. Therefore now also sit with them who were left behind. In future, when any of them dies, never offer his funeral prayer, uh, prayer, funeral, funeral prayer, and never stand to supplicate on his grave because they have rejected God and his prophet and have died while breaching their promise. Don't give any importance to their wealth or children. God only intends to punish them through these in the life of this world and, the, and their souls depart in the state of disbelief. So this was the result of their life. So here God has explained that in this existing life, whatever wealth and our children also become our special human resources. So God has explained that everything will finish after some time. And after the death, if a person is go to the de death and at the time of death he was hypocrisy, then definitely they will be the failure and they will enter into the hell. And God has explained to the Prophet ﷺ that you should not conduct any funeral prayer to them and also previous explained that even you will ask for 70, 70 times you will request it but God will not forgive them. Because it is based on their performance, the reality. 
So it means that we should get rid of any sort of hypocrisy. If even 1% or even 0.1% slavery is still available in our personality, we should get rid of it. So this is the main message for us in the Quran. So that's why God has explained everything in detail in the Quran. وَإِذَا أُنزِلَتْ سُورَةٌ أَوْ آمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَجَاهِدُوا مَعَا رَسُولِهِ اسْتَأْذَنَكَ أُولُ الطَّوْلِ مِنْهُ وَقَالُوا زَرْنَا نَكُنْ مَعَ الْقَعِدِينَ رَدُوا بِأَنْ يَكُونُوا مَعَ الْخَوَالِفِ وَطُبِعَ عَلَى قُلُوبِهِمْ فَهُمْ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ لَكِنِ الرَّسُولُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا معه جاهد بأموالهم وأنفسهم وأولئك لهم الخيرات وأولئك هم المفلحون أعد الله لهم جنات تجري من تحت الأنهار خالدين فيها ذلك الفوز العظيم When a sermon of Quran is revealed professed in Allah and the way it should be professed and waged war alongside his prophet then even those among them who are able to do so come to you to request then you should say leave us we shall stay with those who stay here they prefer to sit with those women who sit behind in houses and as a result of this their hearts were sealed therefore they understand nothing the prophet of allah however has waged war through his persons and wealth these are the persons who accepted faith with him now it is they for whom there are good things of this life and the next and they will be succeeded allah has prepared for them orchards beneath which streams will flow they shall live in them forever which is the supreme success so god has explained that how hypocrisy they can get rid of it if they become a sincere professed and they wage war alongside with the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so then it's okay and if any person request to get rid of leave us so then it will become that no that these are not sincere persons as an evidence then god explained to improvement about villagers these villagers from different tribes they believed it and they at least they become muslims but still a sort of hypocrisy was available so that's why the god explained to each villagers as well that how you should avoid it وجاء المعذرون من الاعراب ليؤذن لهم وقعد الذين كذبوا الله ورسوله يس يس سيصيب الذين كفروا منهم عذاب اليم ليس على الضعفاء ولا على المرضى ولا على الذين لا يجدون ما ينفقون حرج اذا نصح نصح لله ورسوله ما على المحسنين من سبيل والله غفور غفور رحيم so it was a sort of hypocrisy was available to them so god has explained to hypocrites they should avoid 
these things because a sort of hypocrisy was available to them so you can think about it god has explained from among the villagers arabs also came those who made excuses that they to be permitted to stay behind who had made a false promise to profess faith in allah and his prophet they sat in their homes even without any reasons soon a painful torment will seize their disbelievers there is no blame however on those persons who are weak sick or un- unable to spend while they remain well wishers of allah and his prophet there is no blame on such pious people and allah to forgiving and ever merciful so with this expenses in the journey of the book now you can think about that the 30000 soldiers become together from different tribes so they are animals for example horses and especially camels they had so this was to pay and then weapons also like swords bow arrows arrows shield etc and then personal body and skills these were also required and for the food as well they will need it so now you can think that how much expenses will be required at this tabuk journey it is very interested case when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked to give all the faithful persons to take expenses of the journey all the companions radiyallahu paid according to their capacity every person so it was very interested case that umar radiyallahu anhu was very sincere companion he get 50% of his wealth and he thought that today i am successful in cause of god as compared to even abu bakr radiyallahu anhu Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu was the biggest sincere and Umar radiyallahu anhu was also the biggest sincere and they were thinking especially about becoming sincerity a sort of a they were motivating so they were thinking that we can get more sincerity but when umar radiyallahu anhu observed abu bakr radiyallahu anhu who paid 100% of his home assets then umar radiyallahu anhu said sorry i cannot succeed abu bakr in morality i cannot do it so you can see the biggest example and the other companions also also you will see that even umar radiyallahu anhu had huge wealth and his 50% wealth was more than the 100% of abu bakr but here the main thing was the sincerity other companions radiyallahu also huge pay fund for this journey because this was going expecting a biggest war with the biggest superpower of roman empire so you can think about it but sincerity was the main thing so god has explained to people that they should take the example of this wala ala alladhina idha ma atawka litahmilahum qulta la ajidu ma ahmilukum alayhi tawallaw wa ayunuhum tafidu min ad-dam'i hazanan Allah yajidu ma yunfiqun 
Similarly, they are also not to blame that when they come to you to make arrangements for their con- conveyance, you say, I cannot arrange for your conveyance. When they return with eyes shedding tears in this sorrow that they don't have the ability to travel at their own expense. Only they are to blame who seek grant from you even though they are wealthy. They were satisfied to remain with those women who remain behind sitting in houses as a result of this Allah sealed their hearts and now they don't know their might. O Prophet, when you people return to them after this journey, they will present before you all sort of excuses. Say clearly to them, don't make excuses. We shall not believe in anything you say. Allah has informed us of your circumstances. Now Allah and His Prophet will observe your performance. Then you will be entered to God who knows what is open and what is hidden. And He will inform you what you have been done. So this will be the performance. So here you will see that especially sincere companions who were very poor persons. So they had the problem that they go to the Prophet وسلم, that sorry that we are unable to get conveyance so please give us conveyance and we will be in the military of that we will do it so this were very sincere persons and it happened that when the Prophet وسلم, said okay so you are part of military but when the enough convenience was not available so then said that sorry that we don't have enough convenience so they go out and they were very their eyes were shedding so this become an evidence that they were very sincere persons so God has explained their situation and also see the hypocrites were very wealthy but they wanted to get rid of this and they did not give so God will give the result of each person as a result of that based on sincerity every person will get the benefit and hypocrites will give the punishment will be available for them God further explain سَيَحْلِفُونَ بِاللَّهِ لَكُمْ إِذَا أَنْقَلَبْتُمْ إِلَيْهِمْ لِيُعْرِدُوا عَنْهُمْ وَأَعْرِدُوا عَنْهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ رِجْسٌ وَمَأْوَاهُمْ جَهَنَّمُ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ يَحْلِفُونَ لَكُمْ لِتَرْضَوْا عَنْهُمْ فَإِنْ تَرْضَوْا عَنْهُمْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَرْضَى عَنِ الْقَوْمِ الْفَاسِقِينَ الْأَعْرَابُ أَشَدُّ كُفْرًا وَنِفَاقًا وَأَجْدَرُوا أَلَّا يَعْلَمُوا حُدُودَ مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ عَلَى رَسُولِهِ 
الحکیم او پروفٹ آن یور ریٹرن دے ول ناؤ سویئر بفور یو اوتس مائی گاڈ دیٹ یو اگنور دیم دیر فور جسٹ اگنور دیم بیکاز دے آر ان کمپلیٹ فیلتھ اینڈ دے دا ہیل از دیئر ڈیسٹینیشن بیکاز آف وٹ دے یوز ٹو ارن دے ول سویئر ان فرنٹ آف یو ٹو بیکم سیٹسفائی ود دیم ایون اف یو بیکم سیٹسفائڈ ود دیم God will not be satisfied with them because Allah will never be satisfied with such persons who break their promises. These Baduans which were villagers, Arabs are stronger in their disbelief and hypocrisy. They are only worthy that they not be aware of responsibilities of what Allah has revealed to his prophet Allah understand everything and he is very wise so God has explained especially in their mind what sort of their hypocrisy is there so every person was able to understand his and her mind what in reality it was so this happened as a result of that that after this tabuk journey prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam go back and it became a victory of all the arab peninsula so god explained that still hypocrisy will be available in villagers which were settled in different locations is this 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 not they were unable to do anything at the time of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but after the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam go to god at that time it became the government was established by abu bakr radhiyallahu anhu he was the head of government so at that time they started sort of false prophethoods they assumed that yes now i am prophet and they also did false propaganda they used it and as a tool and then they also said that sorry we will not give zakat this we will not pay any amount to the government we will keep with us and similarly they also did it then the abu bakr radhiyallahu anhu not take the action against them against these hypocrites and then in the police action a lot of thousands of hypocrites were killed remaining persons who surrender okay it was not action take against them but some of them become sincere persons after some times but in the next generation they started a sort of also false propaganda they did it and then did rebellion movement they did it at 35 hijri which is 655 ce so when the at the government of the head of government was usman radhiyallahu anhu they tried especially he was usman radhiyallahu anhu was martyred because all of the persons of madina were given to makkah for pilgrim so only some persons were there so a lot of uh, military of rebellion go there and gave action then ali radhiyallahu anhu become the head of government he tried to avoid a uh, a sort of hypocrisy and he wanted to take improvement their situation he did so but he was unable to do this and such rebellion they martyred ali radhiyallahu anhu then hasan radhiyallahu anhu became the caliph who was the fifth caliph radhiyallahu anhu 
so his father ali radhiyallahu anhu explained to him before martyr he explained to his son that give it to muawiya radhiyallahu anhu because he had good control against such rebellion so that's why hasan radhiyallahu anhu within some months he gave this government to muawiya radhiyallahu anhu who was very good control especially in this uh, syria egypt palestine and now it was easy for him to take action in iraq and iran everywhere so his government was controlled in a nice way and but what happened that when muawiya radhiyallahu anhu dead at 60 hijri which is 630 ce calendar so then the rebellion started and at that time husain radhiyallahu anhu the son of ali radhiyallahu anhu he tried to improve the situation in iraq but they killed martyred husain radhiyallahu anhu and they tried multi times they tried to take action but and continuously such rebellion continues from 60 to 133 hijri which in 680 to 7 750 calendar you will see so this happened but these rebellions were killed after time time by time this happened so you can see the history of muslims this happened after the life of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam such happened then further you will see wa min al arabi man yattakhizu ma yunfiqu mughramaw wa yatarabbasu bikum dawair alayhim dairatu sa'u wallahu samiun alim wa min al arabi man yu'minu billahi واليوم الاخر ويتخذوا ما ينفقوا قروبه عند الله صلوات الرسول الا انها قربه لهم سيدخلهم الله في رحمته ان الله غفور رحيم among these villagers there are those also who pay in the way of allah but they is you to be a penalty they wait for you a turn of fortune let bad fortune fall on them and allah observe and knows all of them and among these villagers there are those also who truly believe in allah and the hereafter some of them regard what they pay and the supplications of the prophet as a means of nearness to allah therefore there is no doubt that both these are a means of nearness for that allah shall definitely admit them into the mercy into his mercy because allah is forgiving and ever merciful so god has explained that which persons are hypocrites in villagers and who are the sincere persons god explained their attitude explained so now every person was able to understand that which are hypocrites and what will be done so inshallah in the next lecture we will see the faithful persons what will be their benefit will be taken to them as well so inshallah in the next lecture we will see that how such happens so whatever questions you have feel free to ask the questions wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh